Hi everybody, it's Brandon. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for joining me for another skincare vlog. If you don't know who I am, oh my gosh, this turtleneck is really getting to me. If you don't know who I am, my name is Brandon. I am a medical writer. I've written over a thousand medical articles, all of which you can find freely on the web, most of which have been focused in the field of dermatology and skincare research. And I will leave a link down below so you can check those out. But today I'm gonna to be talking about the top three anti-aging ingredients you probably have never heard of or you probably don't recognize. And I will also be covering the research behind these ingredients and the products that contain these miraculous ingredients to help really improve and optimize your anti-aging skincare regimen. But before I begin, please hit the like button down below. It really helps me to reach more people and grow my channel and I really, really appreciate it. And definitely subscribe, stick around for future skincare videos. I publish videos on skincare and skincare research and as well as product reviews every other day, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I would love to have you here. I'd love you to join in on this community and this conversation that we're having so we can all learn from each other. So definitely hit the subscribe button down below, hit that notification bell, and join me, shall you? I feel like purple is a good color for me, but I just can't really tell on the, on the camera. So anti-aging is a broad term that's often used typically used in the cosmetic industry as well as the surgical industry, i.e. plastic surgery. But anti-aging goes far beyond the use of cosmetic ingredients and topical ingredients as well as surgical interventions. The majority of your health trajectory depends a lot on your lifestyle, on your day-to-day living, your sun exposure, your sleep, your stress reduction, your exercise, your diet. And that includes the, the way in which your body progresses over time. So your lifestyle is going to play a huge, huge role. I would say 90%, if not more. Considering the sun, just the visible signs of aging, the sun contributes up to 80 to 90%, depending upon the paper that you read, of the signs of visible aging. So considering that the sun alone is a significant ager of the skin in terms of the ultraviolet UVA exposure that the skin re receives without sunscreen, your lifestyle is going to play a huge role. So making sure that you're wearing sunscreen every single day, a tinted mineral sunscreen, ideally, this is going to provide a robust protection, a blocking agent against that UV, as well as visible light, especially, especially tinted mineral sunscreens. The iron oxides in tinted mineral sunscreens are going to help to reduce the penetration of not only UVA and UVB with the zinc oxide and titanium dioxide, but also the iron oxides are going to help to help to prevent or at least block the visible spectrum, the blue light from our devices that research shows now can actually penetrate the skin in a similar way as UV and potentially lead to matrix metalloproteinases, activated and degradation of collagen and elastin, as well as uh, increased reactive oxygen species or oxidative damage in the skin. When it comes to the actual vis visible signs of aging, like lines on the skin, there are things called superficial as well as deep lines or wrinkles. And so the superficial ones are often the, the lines that you see from just dynamic contractions of the facial muscles or basically expression lines. So around the eyes, around the mouth, the nasolabial folds. If you see those at rest or whenever you're moving your face, those are often your expression lines. And throughout the, the accumulation of uh, those facial expressions, the laughter, the yawning, the sneezing, the smiling, the frowning, um, those are going to contribute to more furrowing as well as increased lines at rest in addition to just upon movement. Those are often treated with things like Botox to help really just to paralyze the muscles and smooth out the muscles and reduce reduced it from movement so it can help to reduce potentially further formation of lines in the skin. And you also have deep lines that happen over time and these are definitely exacerbated and contributed to by the by UV exposure from the sun. And there's not a ton that you can do with that other than just getting basically a facelift and undergoing various invasive procedures. That being said, there are a number of topical ingredients available on the market in products that are available right now that you can get at, at Ulta or at your, your favorite skincare store. There are certain ingredients that you should be looking out for, including these top three anti-aging ingredients that I actually recently found out about that I've actually been using in my products right now that I didn't even know about. 
but are but have really good data behind them to support the prevention of those age-related changes, specifically the, the lines that happen from expressions or that, that happen over time from UV damage. So the first of the top three anti-aging ingredients that have really good data behind them is Waglarin 1. And this is a peptide, which is basically a short chain of amino acids. Amino acids are the building blocks of protein. One of the largest proteins that you have in your body is collagen, and that makes that is the that's in your skin that helps to produce the strong structural framework of your skin. The, the extracellular matrix contains this, this collagen. And over time, collagen breaks down and it contributes to those lines and those wrinkles and the visible signs of aging. Again, it's exacerbated by UV light exposure, which in, induces reactive oxygen species or oxidative damage in the skin. That helps to, or that contributes to the breakdown of the collagen as well as the elastin. That's why sunscreen is so important. But there's other things in our environment, in our diet, in our daily lifestyle that contribute to the, the oxidative stress in our bodies. So it's not just the sun, but that plays a large part. But Waglarin 1 is a peptide and amino acid sequence that is found in the viper of a venomous snake species. And it sort of simulates to a certain degree the action of Botox through the paralytic, the, the paralytic ac action of Botox, except Waglarin 1 is applied topically. But because of the difficulty of obtaining the, the viper from this venomous snake species, a lot of times a synthetic version or formulation is often included in skincare products. It's probably in a product that you're using right now. And the synthetic form is called, and let me just read this out so I can make sure that I'm getting this right, but the synthetic form is, the, the nomenclature is dipeptide diaminobuterol benzylamide diacetate. And so this goes by the trade name Synake. The Ordinary actually has Synake or this, this, this uh, synthetic form of the of the viper from the venomous snake actually has this in some of their serums and some in some of their products, and I'll tell you which ones in just a minute. But again, the mechanism of action is very similar to Weglarin One, and there's some good evidence to suggest that it helps to promote collagen synthesis and helps to hydrate the skin and reduce the appearance of lines and wrinkles. The synthetic form is actually found in the Ordinary's uh, buffet buffet line uh, with copper one percent, as well as just the original original buffet. Yeah, so I actually have the the ordinary just the regular buffet and it has it's a peptide serum and it has this the synthetic form of Weglarin one the that long nomenclature that I just read off for you but yeah I I like this serum it's very hydrating it has a you know, humectants in it um, you'll mostly find that this this viper like ingredient in serums uh, some moisturizers will have this but in order to get the most out of serums just in general, you definitely want to be applying at least the ones that don't contain things like retinol or something like that, something that's going to be irritating. You definitely want to be applying this to damp skin as soon as you wash your face. Just apply it to damp skin. It's going to help to increase the penetration of the, the active ingredients in your skin so it can do the work. And then you want to apply an occlusive moisturizer over it like a, like uh, the ordinary uh, moisturizing factors with hyaluronic acid. I really like that one. Recently, I've been using the Cetaphil Ultra Hydrating Cream. That's been really amazing for especially the winter months, just to help to form an, an occlusive layer on the skin to prevent the, the serum and the extra moisture from evaporating. When you put a serum on the skin, there's no occlusive agent in there that's going to form a film or a barrier to help prevent the evaporation. So it's gonna dry out your skin if you don't put that, that moisturizer on top of it. So another anti-aging ingredient, number two in this sequence, is an extract of the Nanochloropsis oculata seaweed or algae algae species. And this is a, you can find marine extracts, algae extracts in a variety of different, different products, but this one in particular, this species in particular, also has really good data to help to improve collagen synthesis, anti-inflammation anti in the skin, as well as inhibiting to a certain degree MMPs, the matrix metalloproteinases that degrade collagen and degrade elastin. It can really help to protect the skin overall, improve the moisture barrier, and have a perceptible anti-aging effects in the skin in terms of reducing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. And I think again, it's, it's definitely helping, it, 
and I think again, the mechanism the mechanism of action in terms of anti-aging is definitely uh, inhibiting those MMPs as well as really providing an antioxidant uh, an anti-inflammatory component for the skin. So I'm looking here at my list of like the products that contain this, the extract of this species in particular. So the Renew Nutrient Mist contains this extract and it also has green and white tea extracts which are also extremely powerful and potent for inhibiting the MMPs and helping to improve collagen and elastin synthesis in the skin. I also see that The Ordinary sells a marine hyaluronic serum that contains different uh, varieties of algae extracts. It doesn't have this species in particular, but I would assume based upon the research that I have read and that I will link down below, the findings generalize to the extracts used in The Ordinary products. I love The Ordinary line, so I will try to sell that. I'm not selling it, but I do have affiliate links down below. Um, but I, I love The Ordinary line, and I, I do feel like though the, the findings for this species in particular of algae are going to generalize across the board to a certain extent. And the new gene Clinical Premier Universal Serum also contains this specific uh, algae species in extract form. And it also contains human growth factors. The, the new gene Clinical Premier Universal Serum also contains growth factors, human growth factors, as well as polypeptides and amino acids. I think like I mentioned previously, I, I even mentioned this in the, the Ordinary Moisturizer review that I did. Uh, the it's, it's thought that the application of products that contain amino acids or just the application of amino acids on the skin replicates the the structure, the, the peptide, the, the chain structure of collagen and helps to improve collagen synthesis in the skin. So, you know, the combination of all these ingredients may definitely help to improve the overall production and the anti, the overall anti-aging benefits of the product. Okay, number three, the number third anti-aging ingredient that I also love because of the data behind it is palmetal pentapeptide 4, also known as Matrixyl. Matrixyl is the brand or trade name of the of this ingredient. So this is basically a, a metricine or peptide that's capable of regulating cell activities within the skin, as well as genes involved in the extracellular matrix. Matrixol may stimulate what are known as glycosaminoglycans, which are basically polysaccharides in the skin that help to support the overall structure of collagen and elastin. It may, Matrixol also has been shown to improve collagen and elastin production in the skin, as well as the production of hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is found in your skin naturally. It's also found in serums and moisturizers galore, but it's a powerful humectant that helps to bind water in the skin. It decreases over time. So having just re replenishing it on, with topical ingredients like a topical hyaluronic acid or even uh, like Matrixol, for example, that's going to increase the synthesis, the actual synthesis of the skin could be highly efficacious in terms of anti-aging and improving the overall appearance of your skin and reducing the fine lines and wrinkles that occur with the with the loss of moisture and the the impairment of the moisture barrier over time. So I know The Ordinary sells a wonderful serum just like they sell everything basically and it's a really good price point but they sell a Matrixol serum. Um, it's Matrixol 10% with hyaluronic acid. So you have hyaluronic acid coupled with an, a powerful ingredient that's going to, a powerful um, peptide that's going to further increase your production of hyaluronic acid in the skin. It's a win-win. I have so many serums from The Ordinary right now that I can't possibly use that, but I also have another serum. I'll, I'll use it later, but I also have another serum. I reviewed it on my channel before. It is a CoQ10 serum by Timeless Skincare. I really like it. It's a great humectant agent, but it also has CoQ10 in it, in addition to Matrixol. CoQ10 is found in the skin as well, but that also declines with time. It's basically a, a good antioxidant against UV exposure. So it's thought that the, re that the replenishment of CoQ10 through topical application can help further protect your skin from UVA and UVB and really boost up your, your anti-aging regime. So having a serum that has CoQ10 and Matrixol in it, in addition to hyaluronic acid, is going to be a huge win. So I highly recommend the serum by Timeless Skincare. Check out the, the review I did, that, did of that. I'll also, link it, also link it down below in the description box so you can check out that product. So those are my top three anti-aging ingredients that you probably have never heard of or you may not recognize, but you actually may be using in your skincare products right now. Are there other ingredients that you are using right now in your anti-aging regimen that you want to, or in your armamentarium of uh, products 
products. Let me know down below. I'm really interested to hear what you're using because maybe I can include it in future videos and talk about the research behind it and see if it actually holds merit for use. But if you like this video, please hit the like button down below. I'd love to have you here for future videos. Hit the subscribe button as well. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.